Roboticists are using gynoids, which are humanoid robots that look like women more and more often. These artificial intelligence robot girls can be used for many different things, such as sexual satisfaction, making friends, or just having fun with someone. They're made so that they look and act like real people. This is why they're made. There have been films, TV shows, and computer games with female robots that look like people. Most of the time, they're presented as smart, technologically advanced machines that can do many different things well. Humanoid robots that look like women are becoming more and more popular, but their presence raises a number of moral and social concerns. Some people think that because these robots reinforce bad stereotypes and make women look like objects, they could make women less important in society. Some people say that these robots promote harmful notions and make women into objects. Others are afraid that the development of robotic technology could cause a big drop in jobs and make it harder for people to get ahead financially. Even with these worries, the development of female humanoid robots pushes the limits of what's thought to be possible in the research area of robotics. It also brings up important questions about how technology affects how we think about gender and who we are. Here are top 5 female humanoid robots with human skills in 2023. Number 5. Jia Jia Researchers at the University of Science and Technology of China made Jia Jia a robot that looks like a person. The goal of Jia Jia is to look like a real person. She's made to look like a young Chinese woman and she can talk to other people because she has software that can understand natural language. Jia Jia's creators also gave her facial recognition technology and the ability to move her face and make facial gestures. So, her relationships with other people would be as real as possible this was done. Even though Jia Jia's main purpose is to be used as a research tool to study how humans and robots interact, her development and skills show that AI robots can be used in daily life in the future. Jia Jia can talk to people, which shows that she has this kind of ability. Number 4. Junko Chihira Toshiba, which is based in Japan, made a robot that looks like a real person and named it Junko Chihira. As part of her goal to give great customer service, she's worked in shopping malls, department stores, and other retail settings. Chihira uses artificial intelligence so that she can know customers' faces, greet them in a number of languages, and answer their questions. She moves and gestures in a way that makes her encounters with customers more interesting and real. Her movements and gestures are based on human behavior. AI robots have the ability to improve customer experiences while also making business operations more efficient. Jira's creation and use in the service industry show how this can be done. As technology gets better, it's possible that Shahira and other robots like her will be seen more and more in business and public places. Number 3. Sophia Sophia was made by Hanson Robotics. It's a humanoid robot with artificial intelligence and the ability to understand words. In 2017, Saudi Arabia gave her citizenship, which made her popular. She was the first robot in the world to get this honor. Sophia has been told to talk to people, know faces, and understand how people's faces show how they feel. She's also taken part in events, discussion shows, and news broadcasts where she's shown off her skills and talked with people watching. Even though the growth of Sophia and the ways that she could be used in a wide range of fields is interesting, some experts are worried about the ethical problems that could arise if robots were given citizenship and the effects that robots like Sophia could have on society. Number 2. Erica Erica is a robot with artificial intelligence that was made to connect with people in a way that's both natural and instinctual. Erica, an artificial intelligence that can talk, was made by a group of researchers at the University of Tokyo. Erica can understand what people say and how they feel because she uses machine learning methods. Erica was made to be different from other robots in that she has a personality and can show how she feels through her movements and facial reactions. Erica was also given the ability to talk. Erica can be used for a wide range of things from helping with customer service to helping with medical care. Number 1. Nadine Researchers at Singapore's Nanyang Technological University made Nadine, a high-tech doll that looks like a person. Because her body looks like a human's, she can talk to people, identify them, and even show how she feels through facial expressions. Because of her skills, Nadine is prepared for a wide range of jobs, such as those in customer service, healthcare, and education. What will the future look like when robots that look like people are common? At power plants, humanoid robots are used for inspection, maintenance, and emergency reactions so that humans don't have to do work that is both hard and could be dangerous. Also, they're ready to take charge of the everyday jobs that are given to space explorers while they're in space. 
Other possible uses include helping the old and disabled, working as an assistant or secretary, and maybe, but not definitely, being a host for the growth of human organs that can be transplanted into other people. A humanoid robot can be programmed to do a wide range of jobs from dangerous salvage work to thinking about how people feel. The ways that these robots are moved are always getting better, and as the basic idea gets better, the market will respond in the right way. Amica is the world's most powerful human-made robot, and it's at the cutting edge of human-made mechanical innovation. Amica is at the best humanoid robot stage for human-robot contact because it was designed to be a step toward future innovations in mechanical technology. Others, on the other hand, found Amica scary and worried that it would lead to a digital rise and a robot revolt, just like we've seen in the movies. Some people thought that Amica was great, while others found it creepy. Elon Musk has also recently talked about how worried he is about the possible risks of developing artificial intelligence in terms of how human-like we think our robot friends should be. Some of us, like Musk, might worry about what the future will look like when humans are smarter and more beautiful than ever. In most films, the development of computer-based intelligence comes with a time of chaos. This is because the field is not always the same. Even though this is the case, the people behind Amica are sure that the technology will be used for something else. They say that in the not-too-distant future, Amica will be the main part of robots. With the help of artificial intelligence, machines will not only be able to learn and do human jobs better and faster, but they'll also be able to do better than humans. But for people and robots to work together better, machines should be able to live in the same world as us, and humanoids are the perfect place for this to happen. Scientists have been working hard to teach humanoid nonverbal speech to make them more interesting to talk to, and Amica is a big step in the right direction. Direction. Because these robots are so novel, they might be useful for helping older people, children, or anyone who needs help with daily tasks or working with others. Why using humanoid robots is a good idea. It has a head that's made to look like a human face, right down to the eyes and mouths. It can be used for helpful things like connecting with human devices and situations, for tests like figuring out how motion works, or for other things. Humanoid robots can do anything a person can do because they're programmed to do so. Even though they look realistic, they don't have any real judgment or independence. They can be used for dangerous and far-off space exploration missions in the future. They can be used as friends and partners for people in everyday life. They can be used as extreme partners in both man-made and natural disasters. We can also use these tools to teach. Children can talk to and get help with simple tasks from robot teachers. Teachers use mechanical technology to help students learn the best way to code. Humanoid robots can take care of the old. They can also be changed to make sure they don't get sick. Humanoid robots can also be close to an old person around the clock and focus on their needs and safety. Humanoid robots are useful at work because they don't make mistakes. On the other hand, humanoid robots can work in workshops and do the same thing over and over again with almost no change in the results. On the other hand, if people do the same thing over and over again, they get tired and almost certainly make a mistake. Thanks for watching this video.